and three, two, one, action. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be sharing with you my current favorite protein snack that I cannot get enough of. Literally, I can eat three a day, but I'm not because of moderation. Today, I will run you through a very quick and easy recipe for this snack. A lot of you have been requesting it on Instagram, but I didn't want to record it on Instagram stories and have it delete in 24 hours, so it will be on my YouTube channel. That way you can always go back to it and trace it if you forget any steps. Although it's only like four steps, it's so easy. Literally, this is all you need. You got it all here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Watch till the end and please comment any suggestions you have for like future videos, recipes, nutrition tips, anything. Anything you can think of, the more ideas I have, the more content I can create that you guys want to see. Okay, so let's get to it. First, we're going to start with the protein. I'm using Women's Best Vegan Protein. Flavor is chocolate, but you can use uh, whatever protein you have, vegan or whey. I think that the vegan for this line actually blends pretty well. So after you have, you have your scoop, you're going to add in your droplets. So I'm going to go with the nut flavor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, maybe I think that was eight, but you can't have too much. It tastes like hazelnut, in case you guys are wondering. Now, I eye my portions, but basically when you're adding the liquid to this uh, base, because it's going to go for like this thick, smooth texture base, you're going to want to like eye it out and not put too much liquid. So I start with one cup, but you're going to definitely need a cup and a half. But just in case, because everyone's scoop of protein is a little different. By the way, I'm using a coconut milk that's like really um, thick because it's full fat. So keep in mind that that has a lot to do with your, with your texture. All right, so I'm going to show you an up close video so you can really see the texture. Do you see how thick my milk is? It's very thick. And that's because this is full fat. Like even if you watch it come out, it's very thick. If you want, you can use a full fat coconut milk or coconut cream. Just make sure it's uh, coming from a quality brand. I'm going to go ahead and just do my full cup and a half. Wow. That is so dreamy. So this is the texture that we should come to. Okay. Like it kind of almost looks like a whipped cream. But when you put this in the fridge, this like uh, liquid base will get harder like in the sense that it'll all come close together. You see those little clumps in there? You wanna keep mixing until it's completely smooth. So keep it going, almost like you are beating like egg whites and you wanna make whipped cream. Keep going, keep going. Look at how fluffy that is. Low key, I feel like I'm baking a cake, but I'm not. <laughs> and that's the best part is it's so quick. All right. Look at that. This is the texture you want to go for, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the fridge. Okay, I'm back. So, it is in the fridge right now. Oh, my God. Guys, this is so good. It's so good. I can, like, give up Ben and & Jerry's and Cold Stone for the rest of my life. Okay, so I put it in the chiller which is the coldest part of the fridge. So hopefully I can get that texture fast enough and show it to you guys. I would leave it in longer and I should have prepared it in the morning, but the idea came to me pretty late and the sun is going to set soon, which means I won't have good lighting to film. So I will give it about five, 10 minutes, pull it out. But if you guys are making this, I recommend leaving it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. It's gonna be super cold and oh my God, so good. Also some ingredients that I'm out of, frozen blueberries, Shredded coconut. I have big pieces of coconut, which I'll use to like dip. But yeah, I'm missing my frozen blueberries, um, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds, but that's okay because I'm going for more of a sweet tooth today and those are more bitter. So if you have a major sweet tooth, follow this recipe, add frozen blueberries, um, even like anything frozen, raspberries, it's gonna just taste so good. Uh, definitely need granola, which we're gonna add at the end. So that's pretty much it. I will check back in as soon as the pudding is ready. And I'm back. <sighs> it smells so good. It smells like uh, cake batter. 
but do you see how the texture is like it's not dripping out nice and solid this was only 10 minutes so imagine oops imagine if you left it in for 30 minutes all right let me give you a close-up Ooh, i can't wait till you guys try this you can use any protein powder flavor by the way use the flavors that you like let's start with the toppings now this is homemade granola that I'm adding right now. They make it here at the resort that I'm staying at. Oh, look. I forgot that I mixed sunflower seeds in here. Wow. We have sunflower seeds, raisins, cranberries, sliced almonds, cashews. Wow. Look at the clarity. All right. Normally I'd fill the other side with blueberries, but I don't have any. So let's pretend there's frozen blueberries here. You can dip it with the coconut shreds or you could just use a spoon. I feel like I'm having chips and guac. That's like all the best. <laughs> this is so good. Eating healthy and having healthy snacks. It's not like this boring, protein diet life like you can recreate any desserts that you like that aren't that great for you for example for me i love lava cake i love chocolate pudding and so for me i go towards those chocolatey desserts that have that same texture the crunchiness i use healthy options like toasted almonds my coconut shreds and then I like cold and chill my desserts so it kind of has like this ice cream feel but all in all I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please give me your feedback when you try this. I am going to go devour the rest of this. Bye, guys.